This is National 5, it's the search homework, it's question number 6 and we're using the Pegasus Resources uh, 2013. Find the length of uh, diagonal AB of this rectangle, leaving your answer as a third in its simplest form. Right, so what I've got is I've got AB there. I'm going to just put in a point C for, for that one there. It's a rectangle, so I know that that's a right angle triangle. And this type of question here lends its really itself to working with Pythagoras theorem. So I know that that's 2 root 5 there. This here is the same as the opposite side, which is 2 root 7. So what I'm then going to work out is the hypotenuse AB. Okay, so and I'm going to do that by Pythagoras theorem. Right, and let's set up Pythagoras theorem. So that's going to be AB, AB squared is going to be equal to, and that's the hypotenuse I'm trying to work out. So I'm going to be squaring these and adding them together. So that's going to be AC squared plus BC squared. So let's put our values in. So AC squared will be 2 root 7 squared plus BC squared, which is 2 root 5 squared. Now remember when I square something like this with uh, numbers and, and a third here, what I'll do is I'll square the 2 and I'll multiply that by the root 7 squared. Okay, And root 7 squared is going to be equal to 7. So 2 squared is going to give me 4 times 7. Because remember that root 7 squared is going to be equal to root 7 times root 7. And if I do it in a kind of longhand version, that will be square root 49. And I know that the square root 49 is 7. So if I know that I've got seven root 7 squared, I know I can go straight to 7 for that one. Right, that's going to be plus, and 2 squared again is going to be 4, and that's going to be times root 5 squared. We'll go straight, same as we did here, to 5. Okay, so let's work these bits out. So that's 28 plus 20, and that's going to give me an answer of 48. And remember again, this is AB squared, so AB is going to be equal to the square root of 48. And then when I need to simplify that down, I'm going to simplify it by using the, the thirds, root 16, root 3, and from there I'm just going to take the square root of 16, which will give me 4, root 3, as my final answer. Okay, so this one here is worth uh, four marks. And again, this could be a, a kind of standard exam question on thirds, a mixture of thirds and Pythagoras theorem. So let's let's have a look at what, where we're getting our marks. So one mark for knowing to use Pythagoras theorem in this one. The next mark there for squaring out the thirds that we've got. So that gets us the, the mark there. I'll go for a mark for getting this part here. Okay, so that would be going for, for the root 48. And for simplifying it out fully, that would give us the, the 4 root 3. So that gives us our 4 marks for question 6.